Hello my angels and devils and all who may wander here is Amanda Christina and I know a few people have been waiting for this. Now is the time to grab your cupcake liners, to grab some offcuts of cardstock, some craft glue and a pair of scissors. We are going to make these, I love these so much, these absolutely adorable little cupcake liner bows. Now don't expect that they're going to come out even because they're not but they are super cute and I'm all, all for thinking up ways of using your cupcake liners. This, I think, is the second or third way I have. Um, so these mini ones I got from Woolworths in Australia. Um, it says patty pans. I don't know. It didn't say what size when I bought them, so I just bought them. But they're these lovely little sort of check, sort of picnic-y type ones. And we are going to make a bow together we may even make two we'll see how we go so what I do is when I'm cutting out the cupcake liners I leave a few together cut out the base and then just cut them in half for the small ones if you have bigger ones you might want to cut them in thirds it just depends on how big you want your bow now what you're going to do I don't know if you can see this but what I'm doing is I am wiggling I'm leaving one side open now you're going to think this sounds a little weird why is she leaving one side open and only pushing one side in? Because the side I am leaving more open is the side that goes smaller. So now what? Now that we've sort of got this squished a bit more, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little of our craft glue and you only want a teeny bit, like a teeny tiny line, straight sort of down the middle here. And it does get, this is a little, if you're a squeamish, messy like crafter who doesn't like to get messy, then... This isn't for you because you are going to get glue on your fingers. So then we're just going to keep pushing this back in to, and just make sure that if you've got bits that are going a little wonkety, you, you straighten them out a bit. It's okay if they go a little wonkety. So what you're basically doing with that line of glue is creating the centre of this. So you're pushing it in and then eventually you have... And we kind of try and you try and make sure it's as even as you can to doing the hang on what the heck happened here okay this went a little wonkety on me you just play with it until it's not quite so wonkety there we go and then you hold it in to get your little centerpiece and your bow is made that's that's the basic gist of making the bow so the bow is done the bow part is done we just sometimes you just need to play a bit more um, you might need just a little bit more glue depending on how much glue came off or just how well it's sticking. Um, as I said, sometimes it's just a matter of playing with it. So then we have this part. Then what I do is I because the reason I, I just glue one of – you're not going to use as much cupcake, uh, cupcake circles, so keep your circles to make your cupcake sweets or other things with. But what I do is I just go through this and I just cut – a thin strip to wrap around the center of the cupcake so now so the cupcake to wrap around the center of the bow where are we we're at three minutes see this is such a super simple craft um, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to it took me a little while to figure it out so please please don't feel bad if oh, okay so that's the other thing I do I usually add just a touch of glue around the top of the center and so that I can get it to sit a bit better and have it stuck in a bit and then take the bit of glue and actually what I didn't bring but you can do it with your fingers is I usually because this is I would net I would honestly stick these on paper you'll get a better result but I'd already stuck these to cardstock um, is just to curl it a bit with a with your bone folder or even just your fingers just so that it curls around it a bit better so we're just going to hold this piece in place for a minute and make sure everything's okay and then we're just going to wrap this piece around the center and I'm just going to cut off the excess and Hang on, this didn't go on very well. So sorry, I'm so I'm just trying to pull it as tight as I can, and I I can cut a little bit extra off. So we're just going to do that, and then we are going to put a little bit of glue at the back. 
and hold it down for a moment. And then we are going to fluff our little bow. This one is a little bit wonky. I've realised why, because I accidentally didn't cut the circle away enough, but that is what you get. You get these adorably cute little bows. You could put a little gem or something in the centre if you wanted to hide that little bit of um, messiness because that did not go on very well. Um, sometimes it works better than others, like, but it, and it does take a little bit of practice and I haven't done one in a little while, but there you go. That's the little tiny. How easy is that? Like five minutes. <laughs> it's a five-minute craft. Um, so you can make quite a few of these out of one. Like I got a hundred packs, so I'm going to be able to make lots of these. These are going in my, I'm looking for small things to make to put in the little embellishment boxes I got. I want to get some more of them because I have quite a few friends in Australia. I would like to send a little wee embellishment box to. So let me know if you're going to try this little, try making these adorable little cupcake liner bows. You can make them bigger. You can use bigger, bigger um, cupcake liners. I'm just all about, anyone who knows me knows I'm all about the miniatures. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. As always, remember, you are incredible, you are amazing, and you truly, truly do matter. I hope you are all well. Bye, everyone.